I think I've said this before, but I think presence is overrated. And what I mean presence is, is things like Zoom and Microsoft and WebEx all have presence, right? Green for available, red for busy, and yellow or gray for away. Uh, I don't think users are actually honor those too much, uh, but uh, people love it and they always want it. So uh, I'll do a demo on it. One of the reasons I think it's overrated is that because no one really honors presence. For, for example, if I'm chatting with somebody and they're green, boom, I'll say, to chat and do I expect a reply? No. Do I want to reply? Of course, I'm chatting with them, but I don't expect one. Even though they're green, they might be doing other things. If they're away, I'll still send the message, right? If you're yellow or gray and you're away, I'm still going to send the message. If you're busy, I'm still going to send the message. I don't care about your presence, but it's a, it's a nice to have. I just think it's overrated. The only one I will honor uh, is do not disturb. If you really have do not disturb and it's not a super important message, I'm probably not going to send it or I might schedule it uh, for later on, but I probably won't try to break your do not disturb unless it's an absolute emergency. Then I might just email you. But even if you're green, I'm probably not just going to call you cold. I'm probably going to send you a message saying, hey, you got five minutes because again, I'm just going to honor your privacy. Even though you're green and available, I'm still going to ask you before I can call you or, or set up an ad hoc meeting. But that's just me. So let's look at some demos of Zoom presence integration with Microsoft Teams. So here, both clients open up on the same desktop. For example, on the left, it's a Zoom client. On the right is Microsoft Teams. I'm actually in a Zoom meeting and you can clearly see that it started right here on my calendar. And if you look at Microsoft Teams, look at the presence. I can see that my Zoom in ear account is actually in a meeting. So we're actually pushing presence across from Zoom to Microsoft Teams. So if I'm in a calendar event, like a, a meeting that I have on my calendar, as soon as that nine o'clock meeting hits, it's gonna push presence from available to in a meeting to Microsoft Teams. So let's just go ahead and cancel that meeting so that we have no meeting events on our calendar to show in a meeting. And we're gonna go to green. So you can see it says green right here, uh, I'm available. And you can see on the other side in the Microsoft Teams client, uh, I'm available as well. So that's a calendar event, right? A calendar event on your calendar from, from nine to 10, you have a Zoom meeting or a Microsoft Teams meeting. Doesn't mean you joined, it just means there's a calendar event. But what if you started an ad hoc meeting, right? Something that's not on your calendar. What is the behavior there? Let's do it. So I've started that meeting. I'm not going to join it. I'm not going to bore you. But you can see now that I'm in a Zoom meeting. And on the Microsoft Teams side, it shows I'm in a call. So that means I'm in an active call that's beyond a calendar event. It's an ad hoc meeting. So let's try a phone call. See if the same behavior happens. Again, I'm green now because I'm not in that active meeting. Nothing's on my calendar event. I'm green on both sides. Let's make a phone call. So now you can clearly see that I'm in an active Zoom phone call right here. So obviously I turned red busy on the Zoom side. If you look on the right side, you can see the corresponding Microsoft Teams client has been updated to in a call. So that's two examples of, well, that's three examples actually. One, a calendar event when I'm in a meeting, something on my calendar. Two, an ad hoc Zoom meeting that pushed presence to Microsoft Teams. And now in an ad hoc Zoom phone call that's pushed presence into Microsoft Teams. Let's give some more examples. So now I'm back to green because I'm obviously out of my Zoom meeting. I'm obviously out of my Zoom phone call. I'm just in regular status. But what if I wanted to change my status to say away, just manually change it to away. Let's see that. So you can see now that I set the status to away on my Zoom client, it pushes that to the Microsoft Teams client and shows that I'm away. What about busy? Let's try that one. Set that to busy. And now you can see the busy status is reflected in Microsoft Teams. So you can see available, busy, away, all work from Zoom to Microsoft Teams. What about do not disturb? Let's see if that works. We're gonna set our presence to do not disturb for 20 minutes. And boom, right there. Do not disturb is now reflected in Microsoft Teams for the duration of that 20 minutes that I set inside of Zoom. So those are all honored for between Zoom and Microsoft Teams. But there's one more cool one. Let's look at the status messages between Microsoft Teams and Zoom. So I'm gonna set my status message to say whatever I wanted to say. Say, hey, well, I'm away on vacation or I'm out of office for the Tuesday. And that is also reflected in Microsoft Teams. Let's try it. Save it. So now you can see I've set the status inside of Zoom and it pushes that to Microsoft Teams. That's pretty cool. So that's presence integration between Zoom and Microsoft Teams. You can see that it works from an ad hoc meeting perspective, a calendar perspective, as well as a Zoom phone perspective. I'm Patrick Kelly, the Tattooed Nerd.